Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. My, my, you have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First, you made those torches and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? Um, no. Alas, not. Other than a simple cypress stick, you haven't a single tool upon a person. Such a shame. Well, I think we ought to do something about that. Hadn't we? <laughs> I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they're yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up whole host of objects without the need to smash them. First ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. Oh, that's cool. So without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgly piggly around the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. So, last episode, we were, um, yeah, there's my gloves. <laughs> he looks so happy. Uh, we, last episode, we were cleaning up the deck as uh, our death sentence, pretty much. Pick stuff up and plonk it down, it says. Use the gloves to move objects from one place to another. Pressing R2 to pick something up or put it down. Pressing the triangle and holding something to rotate it. Oh. Oh. So. Oh, it just rotates like that. I see. So where are we plonking them down? Here? All right. So the controls, they're a little bit hard to get used to, but once you get used to them, they're pretty good. I, I'm used to doing stuff like this in like Minecraft with, um, you know, with mouse and keyboard. But it definitely, it definitely starts, um, definitely starts getting easy once you've done it a little bit. Can I, can I run with these things? I can. Woo! So the hole in the floor just leads downstairs. By the way, I checked. I checked. All right. Whoa! I ran right over that hole. <gasps> What did I just do? Oh, I went in first person. <gasps> That's true. You can middle. Okay, this is the right thumbstick. I forgot about that. It's a lot easier to build like that, too. A lot easier to build like that. Okay. Boom. Tidy up the barrels. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that a youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. So me placing six barrels have changed your whole opinion about the youth of the nation or the world. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of the exalted order. I fear your time among us will be short, but... Your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. All right. Speaking of captain, is it time yet? It would appear you have to attend everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more backbreaking chores. All right. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters and without a word of complaint neither if i doubted it before i'm certain now you act like this is sort of a thing you're a proper weirdo you know that <laughs> i still won't be satisfied until i hear it from the horse's mouth so to speak do you enjoy building things yes okay hey, of course you do it's what gets you out of bed in the mornings i can tell from the look in your fleshy face You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Alright, the quest is complete. Now do I have to fight my way off this thing? Well, with that, you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow to stern, building like a bilio, now can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Just tickling your ribs. <laughs> Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a, a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be cracking little cabin. Well, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was ready to start pressing triangle. <laughs> and what's more, I'd like to cut your jib. 
What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big look you're lugging around? I've never seen like anything like it before. Oh, the rain. Huh? Where'd the rain come from? Wow, you have to tell me later, laddie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. All right. So what's to say the ship is going to capsize and we're going to swim? As an apprentice builder, you will do nicely. Oh, is this my child's voice? The voice that calls me my child? This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Okay. Let me go. Let me go. Now come to me, my child. It is! It is the my child voice. Oi, cloth ears. What are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks into the hold. That's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. All right. Shall we, uh... Shall we take a shortcut? Boom. Wow, what the heck's going on? We're gonna capsize this sucker. Oh. Captain. <laughs> Come to the hole quickly. It's squishy. We're in deep goo goo down here. Blind me, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. You alright there, builder? Ah. But I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Hargon Preservus, this is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your pony backside in here pronto. I need your help. Oh. Also, okay. Oh. Anything? Okay, I just had to check, y'all. I just had to check. Oh, the water. Over here, Builder. What took you so long, eh? I was checking out the barrels, dude. I've got some bad news, Builder. We've been swept right under a reef and the rocks going clean through the hole. And if we don't fix it fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones Locker. I don't know if this will work. Try cramming a crate into that hole and <laughs> if you've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Um. Boom. Done. All done, boss. That was the closest shave than I'd like. But you did it. <laughs> you saved my... Oh, throw me a bone. Not more holes. Well, heck yeah, more holes. Wow, we're taking on more water. You gotta do something. Use more crates to plug all the holes up. Go on it. Own it, boss. Own it, captain. Oh, okay, let's... Huh? All right. Boom. Done. Anything more? What you doing right here, Squishy? You're a lifesaver builder, or no, I owe you one. But our run-in with the rock has made mincemeat of my hull. The next wave that hits us could... There it is. Wow, I knew it. It's a race against time, builder. Cram some more crates in the holes. All right. We almost out of crates, homie. Just saying. Just saying, bruh. If this was really a time-sensitive issue, this would be this would be a little bit more insane. Oh, you see? I would have just failed right there. Can't place that there. All right. And last but not least. Who's got money on that it's going to happen again? You shored up my ship good and proper, builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. Um, under the ocean. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much long... Yeah. <laughs> oh, throw me a bone. Who who knew it was going to happen, chat? Who? We're done for. Not chat. Commenters. So, um, if I call you chat, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to addressing chat and stream. Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug that hole that size. Oh, my God. Yep, it's over. Nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Buildeer. I know it's Builder, but oh look, cutscene.
that was just the intro, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Yeah, sunshine, baby. Look how beautiful. It's beautiful. Dragon Quest Builders 2. So in this one, you're supposed to have a helper, too. The first one was so good, y'all. It was such a great game. Washed up ashore. Zuljan awakens on a sandy shore. It seems he was washed up on a desert island, long with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Well, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Getting that wood! Oh, and kelp! Too good. I'm hungry, man. I am hungry. Let's see. He said, All right, we're gonna need a hammer to break those, probably? Ooh, we just got seaside sand. More kelp. Can I pick these up? No. But I could just break the sand. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Anything right there? No. It looks like there's a little way through right there. And a chest. Suddenly, Zuljan hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. So you might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. More kelp. Okay, good. Can I collect... Can I collect the chest? I bet you I can move it though. <gasps> I can. Oh, chest, you coming with me? I'm gonna use this for my my house, wherever it's gonna be at. Okay. Okay. Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Oh, the music's so good. It's so blocky and beautiful. Hey! <gasps> That's our partner. That's gonna be our partner. The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell, more likely? Huh? What's that noise? That's me! Hey, Spiky! Who the heck are you? Hi! <laughs> oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Finally, a live one! Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank and then you woke up on this beach? 
So how come you didn't cork it too? What's your story? Your name's Zuljin and you're an apprentice builder? Huh? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Malroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. Uh, gruesome like a dead body? What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. All right. Boy, it's this way. If you want to see something really grim, follow me. All right, I'm, I'm following, bro. I'm following. It's this way, he said. Oh, my God. Hey, it's my shipmates. Now, that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... What the... Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. That's the one that insulted me on the boat. That's going to be the new Pippa, y'all. She sounds like she's pretty bad way. Though, we should be do the right thing and put her out of her misery. No! We ain't kill her! Ugh. Gasp. Where am I? How did I get here? Eep! <laughs> You're pirates, aren't you filthy freebooting brigands who should take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return? Uh, nope. That's not what we are at all. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? Yeah. The only way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? No! <laughs> we can't just kill her. There's no response. It's just a corpse. Oh. The wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. Well, that's a, that's a peaceful way of putting him down, isn't it? What is this? Oh, no! It's the... Sh it's squishy! Rip squishy. Rip squishy. No response. Just a corpse. All right. Well, there's all the corpses. Let's um, let's see, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Not that much hiding you can do. Get away from me, you villains! If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are now and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Zuljin when you sank, when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Yes. I remember you're the builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked at you. <laughs> I know you were in cahoots with them. So that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? Um, you're going to make things that we need to survive while we wait for the rescue party? Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench outside? Girl! I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Lulu's demands. <laughs> Make a room. Here we go, y'all. We need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The, the narrators love to humiliate the builder. Poor guy. <laughs> the walls must be two blocks high and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack rather than, uh, rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you could fix up the place. Pick up some salvage, some of the decking uh, from the wreckage, and just patch up holes, or just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. All right. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until rescue. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them good grilling on a bonfire. We need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there's plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the ship lying about. You may as well put them to use. Well, there we go. And build some beds. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks I need a proper bed if I'm going to get some beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters. So, <laughs> four posters like she wants pencil post beds? So we shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. So I'm going to have all these recipes, I'm thinking. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. 
<laughs> Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt, and you think I'm you're impressing anyone with those oh so mighty muscles? <laughs> Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. <laughs> He's strutting now. Oh, builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery? Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then you'll become a fully fledged builder. You'll have me to thank for it. Oh my god. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of our misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Oh gosh. Let the mission begin. So, we have to make the room. Um, cook food on the bonfire and build some beds. So, the easy thing about... The girl really gives me the hump. First, she won't stop winging, whining. Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder. At the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. You know you said you were a builder? Is that like something to do with a duck's nose? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you want to do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes. And hey, presto, we builded ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Okay, so this is kind of like get it ready 101 right so we could just pick these up and place them in the holes and now we can just we can't build blocks even though we have wood but we can place sand um, and to do that we could just press that and the room is made and that's how you know the room is made Zuljin, you repaired my room. Ha! <laughs> now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. So you just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay, and you two are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. Oh my god. <laughs> she is something else, y'all. Build some beds and cook food on the bonfire. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with her new room. Right, up next is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scallet, scallywankle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Hmm. So I should know how to make a bonfire now? Yeah, yaha, bonfire. A big bundle of branches that burns brightly. Use it to cook food. What's the deal with that book? That's my notebook, Holmes. Huh? So you just invented bonfires and now you can build one? If you had enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn-out workbench? Well, if it's all you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Beautiful. All you need now is wood. That girl said you'd get some from the driftwood and the broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you'd be better to put that bonfire built... No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. Well, we got this, man. We got it. Let's build a bonfire. One. Oop. Okay. And we'll put that inside. Boom. Bonfire. <laughs> What's that you've made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? <laughs> All right, now we need to go find some scallywinkles or scallywankles. They said by the beach, right? Uh, let's see here. I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials and you wish to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to get the clear picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't already know already? Look, they might be a ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. 
<laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them for ourselves. He is, uh, he's selfish. Is this a scallywank? No, that's just a shell. I wonder, though. What is that? Funny looking thing you've got there. Wouldn't be one of those scallywankles that the girl was jabbering about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks <laughs> till them break of dawn. That's something I'd rather avoid. So, we... Oh! Oh, he's doing it for me now. Nice. So he just breaks up stuff as we go. He's just gonna... Oh. Oh, he senses when I'm gathering stuff. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, so he breaks what I break, pretty much. And those bigger stumps will probably need something else. Oh, and slimes. Hello. Squishies! You don't even have a weapon, dude. Oh, he still hits for seven with his fists? Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's go back to the hut. Oh, I'm tired. I see, I see. Okay. Okay, cook. Ha! <laughs> wheat, 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 wheat. Careful, soldier, and Scalawinkle just fell in the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. <laughs> so you builders can make food too, eh? Still, it'll be a little while till that Scalawinkle's completely cooked. Let's go out and look for some more material while we wait. Alright, food takes a little time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. Oh, that's all. It just goes down. But I want to complete the quest. Because I have a feeling that I could just make some beds, too, with the materials that I've already gotten. It probably won't take much. Alright, Scallywinkle. Collect. Makes his first seared Scallywinkle. Sniff, sniff that aroma. Is that the smell of succulently seared Scallywinkle? I must have it. Yeah, we'll hand it over. Oh, nom nom nom. Ah, the scent of seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grain. <laughs> Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywankles, you know. If you use anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. I like that. I like it. All right. Now we just gotta make some beds. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Zuljan and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Zuljan, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island. I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. Well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. We saw the trailer, bro. We know what's gonna happen. Yawn, speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, Zuljan, how's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Uh, I know how to make it now. Take out the notebook, Grave. Yes! Hey! Straw beds. And what do we make them on? Uh, let's see. What did you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you could make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some dry and grassy along the shore to the west. That could be what you're looking for. So, it's not kelp that I'm looking for. Dried grass is what I'm going to be looking for. Let's uh, let's recharge our food real quick. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> I'm eating like Goku, man. Alright, let's see. To the west. That was over here. Man, you run out of stamina pretty fast with running. At least you can run. You couldn't do that in the first one. You could not do that in the first one. Okay. No dried grass. 
That's all kelp. And... Uh, oh, there's some. Ah, oh, yeah! It makes sense. It's not in the water, huh? <laughs> How many did we need? I should have checked the recipe, actually. I think it was like three per or something. Oh, he's getting them too. Nice, brother. Nice. All right. After this little pile, we should have enough. And... I wonder if having full stamina actually changes the way you regen... I mean, full food changes the way you regen stamina. And I'm going to kill these slimes while we're at it, too. Oh, ouch. Okay, beautiful. All right, that should be... That should be enough right there, y'all. Okay. Yeah, nine required. I'm glad we got more than we needed. There we go. Three beds. And we plonk them down, it says. Plonk is the word they use, okay? Bed one. Uh, bed one. Bed two. And bed three. This is wonderful, Zul'jin. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help you to recharge your energies after the sun goes down. We'll be able to make two... Wait, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder on a desert island. No less, nonetheless, when the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood, so I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything we all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama. I may be marooned on the desert island with these two lumbering lunboxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Girl, you better get your head right. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. And we completed the three quests that we needed. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for episode two. I hope you all had a really, really good time this episode. I sure did. I'm looking forward to the next one. Make sure you check the links in the playlist below and give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.